So we're cutting this rope into seven pieces. We know the average is 68 and the median is 84. We also know that the longest piece is 14 more than four times the shortest piece. So for a question like that, I would suggest creating seven blank spots on your paper so that you'll be able to fill in the blanks, essentially. And since the average is given, well, that kind of means that the sum is given because the sum would be seven times the average. And since we have an odd number of pieces of rope, the median would be that middle piece. So we know the middle is 84. And that's pretty much all we know at this point. But then the question wants us to maximize the length of the longest piece. Now, since the total length of the rope is set as seven multiplied by the average, the way to maximize one piece would be to minimize all the others. So looking at these seven blanks, really just six blanks, because we have the middle as 84, how do we minimize blanks one, two, three, five, six, in order to maximize blank number seven? Well, there's a relationship between blank one and blank seven. So if we call blank number one x, then blank number seven will be four x plus 14, just based on the relationship that they described. But we can minimize all the other blanks. So blanks two and three, the, the shortest they could be is x, because we've arranged these in ascending order. And blanks five and six, the shortest they could be is 84. Again, because th these are all arranged in ascending order. So now we're going to have to solve a little bit of math because we have x plus x plus x plus 84 plus 84 plus 84 plus 4x plus 14. That whole thing equals 7 times 68. But there's definitely an opportunity to reduce some numbers here and not have to work so hard. For example, I see that there is a common factor of 7 among everything that we're looking at. Because if you add all the x's together, that's 7x. 3 times 84, well, 84 is a multiple of 7. It's 12 times 7, right? So pulling out a factor of 7 from there, we're just left with 3 times 12. And the plus 14 also has a factor of 7, right? That's 2 times 7, so you can pull a 7 out of there as well. On the right-hand side, we have 7 times 68. So if we reduce the entire equation by a factor of 7, well, now all we have is x plus 36 plus 2 equals 68, which means x is 30. Now, the question isn't asking for x. The question is asking for 4x plus 14. So 4 times 30 is 120, plus 14 is 134. And that's why the correct answer here is D. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.